hi guys welcome to another video and then in this video i'm gonna be doing kbpjpy and eurocat so i chose these pairs just because they have like uh, more potential to moving in our direction and then i decided to share them with you guys i hope you watch up until the end you click the like button and you drop a comment below and then basically uh firstly we can just look at uh gbpjpy and then as you can see here at the top of the structure i was uh looking at this area here whereby we have a double top and then after having that double top we have that mass psychology activation around this point you know uh, i like those mass psychology activations very much and then we have a larger flag around this point whereby it was a very 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 nice setup it was a very nice setup around this point and then what i like about this uh nice setup here is that we have a clear push to the downside around this point and then we came in a form of a larger flag around this point and then we push to the downside and then we create a larger flag to initially push to the downside up until the overall 90 percent rule of which is at this low here and then another thing that you must take into consideration is that whenever the market creates uh, some type of a week just like this one in this area here let me just show you this one in this area here it will tend to feel that uh, weak area it will make sure it feels that weak area nicely and then another thing if you look left you'll see that we have an overall ascending channel coming from this side here just like this just like this and then we have another 90 percent rule of which is this larger ascending channel so we are potentially looking for selling opportunities and then on the lower time frame but initially we are looking for those selling opportunity opportunities up until like this point here even if like we get like selling selling pressures up until like this point here it's still okay we can just hold up until like that overall 90 percent and then on the four hour as i always say we check for momentum and then this is a larger flag just because at some point we were looking for like some selling opportunities in a form of a tight flag here on the lower time frame and then whenever the market gives you like this type of uh price action whereby you get like tagged in and then you get tagged out then it means that it's creating a larger flag whereby you can sell at the top of the structure that touch and then you look for those selling opportunities but now we are just creating like a picture of each and everything that is happening like on this pair and then up until we reach like the overall move whereby we are looking for like those opportunities so we are on the our chart here so on the hour what i'm looking at is this type of expanding as i said like this so i'm just going to focus like on the current market structure of which is this one here so you can clearly see that this is a push down also and then it came in a larger flag continuation around this point and then catering for that uh, multi-touch confirmation you can see that we have this as our first touch second touch and then we didn't have like the that touch around this point as you can see this is a near miss you didn't have like the third touch so whenever you don't have like a third touch and then price decides to push to the downside and then comes back up then it means you can have like a override around at the top of the structure just like that so you are waiting for some type of a tap on that ray line of which it's around this point and then let me just turn this out a bit then now we are expecting to get like a overall double top override and then whenever it does not do that then we can wait for that third touch around this point a rejection at the top of the structure like this then you take your cell and then your stop loss is just above maybe this area around this point here for about 24 pips of which is okay and then your first target is around this point here for the overall third touch for about 7.8% and then knowing that we are targeting the overall move of which it's at the lows around 15 to 16 percent then another thing that you should be focusing on is that we are moving in a form of an ascending channel just like this and then this is not a complete ascending channel as you can see we have two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom 
so it means that we can have like a third touch of which it will be in line with the overall third touch of that expanding just like this so you can look for those selling opportunities but if you're on the safe side when you're trading you can just wait for a clear push to the downside six to eight hour tight flag just like this just like this and then let me just do it correctly just like this and then don't forget guys when you're looking at like a tight flag you must make sure that the tight flag is flat it's flat 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 it's very flat so that you can have like clear bottoms and clear tops so you can have like this type of price action your stop is just above and then you are targeting the same targets the same targets outer structure 3.7 overall target 10% so you can just wait for those two scenarios on GBP JPY and then you can give me uh, your, a feedback when you have taken like any trade on this uh, nice pair here and then I'll keep on updating you guys if I take like some type of a setup here uh, next week and then so make sure you have subscribed so looking at euro cad uh, let's start on the weekly chart on euro cad and then let's look at the overall move that we have around this point so you can see and then you can look left and then it's a very corrective pair as you can see we have an impulse down corrective move impulse down corrective move impulse down and then as you can see here we are at the top of the structure and then we have this top and then we have the slow here so originally price is boxed up and then we are looking for selling opportunities and then if we break structure and then we continue pushing to the upside then we change our bias and then we look for buying opportunities up until the overall 90% rule just because as you can see here this came in a form of a descending channel whereby we broke that descending channel very impulsively so what i'm looking at on this one the reason why i'm looking for selling opportunities is because we pushed very fast in that uh, bullish move whereby we can get like a double bottom before we can clearly push back to the upside just like this so i'll be waiting to see what happens like at the top of the structure and then moving to a daily chart another thing that made me look for selling opportunities on this one is that we have a double top at the top of the structure as you can see here we had like a corrective push to the downside and then we came back in a form of a double top whereby we can still look for those sales and then come back to look for buying opportunities on that one so that's what that's what i've been looking at like on this one and then let's draw out like the overall structures and see if we can get like some more confirmations just because drawing like the overall structures and everything is just to confirm if like you are getting like into good trades or not so we have this ascending channel we have the 90 percent and then looking left now we can cater for this overall move that in a, in the back of our minds we know that we can look for those buying opportunities but those buying opportunities can only happen if we break structure and then we know that we can look for a larger flag there is no way we can get like a tight flag around this point we are already at the red zone we are close to the red zone of which is the 90 percent rule area this is the amber zone this is the green zone around this point so make sure that you know your zones and then you know what you're doing whenever you are in the markets so on the four hour we check for that momentum so as you can see it was very corrective on its way to the top and then i can just try and pattern separate each and everything so that i know that uh, i'm looking at like the right pattern so i'll just do this just to make sure that everything is still intact so this is the pattern separation that I have ascending channel on its own then we broke structure around this point in a form of a tie flag like this and then we came back to retest the same area as you can see we made like that mass psychology and then you can see on the first touch here we didn't create like that mass psychology we only had it like around this point here so it's a good confirmation to have and then we have this overall ascending channel around here just like this and then on the hour chart that is where we can look for those entries and then I'll make sure I'll cater for this 90% uh, around here just because you don't know if we can get like those sales up until here and then the market decides to push back to the upside so I'll keep that around that point and then 
let's switch to the hour chart so on the hour chart that is where we look for our entries and then as you can see here we have that nice ascending channel let me just try and make sure that everything is still intact then i can see that at the top of the structure or on the green zone we already missed a nice entry whereby we should have taken like this one maybe at the top of the structure as you all know i like top of the structure moves these ones and the first tight flag in this area here as you can see the the tight flag is flat as i said two bottoms two clear bottoms as you can see and then two clear tops as you can see just like this everything is clear there is nothing that you are forcing around this point you can look for those selling opportunities and then your stop loss is just above around this point here and then your first target is around here for 1.5% and then the first 90% rule is at around 5% of which it's still okay to a target lap about like 5% and then we know that the overall target is around this point here around this point here 20% and then not saying that I'm going to take like one trade and then it will bank me 20% just because I may get like tagged out let's say we get like that nice push to the downside we hit the 90% rule and then we reverse back to the upside and then at some point i'll be having like my stop loss at some uh, profits maybe around this point and then i'll get checked out and then let's say we have a nice ascending channel i see a continuation then i look for another entry so we can have like many entries like on one setup whereby we don't just uh, have one trade and then we wait for the overall 90 percent the market reverses most of the time then we get tagged out maybe at uh, a certain profit so um that is it for today's video and i'll see you on another one maybe today maybe tomorrow i'll see you when i drop give this video maybe a hundred likes and then i'll drop another video on nasdaq and usdt then yeah i'll see you on another video guys